for many people, many people do not know that I'm a product of kinship care. My great aunt, who actually used to be the state rep for the same seat that I sit in, um, took me in mm -hmm. when I was four years old. My mom left me on the doorsteps and um, my aunt took me in when she was running for office the first time herself. So she here she is the first time candidate and she took in a four year old and she won her state rep seat. And now I'm sitting in that seat right now. So I understand the importance that you have to have child care. Um, you know, her, her child was grown and here she is a woman who was in her 60s, basically taking in a four year old for that. So when you just talk about access to care um, for kinship care in particular, you have to have respite care because when you take in a loved one's child, you know, whatever the circumstance is, people need to have access to, to that. And that's why I in introduced the kinship care bill of rights because you have to have access for those, those loved ones those are costs that they normally would not be expecting. Normally when you're having a baby, you know the cost of childcare is on its way. But when you take in a loved one's child, that is not a cost that you are normally expecting. And we pay our foster care parents more than we do our kinship care parents. So there's a huge disparity between one or the other and it should not be when we should be actually supporting family members for keeping fam um, family members' children inside the family. So that's what I'm doing for my own personal experience of being a product of kinship care.